In this video, we are going to discuss about creating a numbered standard access list. As we know that the to filter traffic using source IP address only, we use this standard access list and it is very simple and sufficient option. So you see in the configuration mode, access list question mark will give you the number range as well as the access list available. So here 1 to 99 is IP standard access list as we discussed in the previous videos and 100 to 199 is IP extended access list and so on you have the list of details available here. So here when you wanted to create an access list not surprisingly in access configuration mode then as we discussed you can see we choose access list 1 here. So when you give access list 1 question mark it gives you 3 options deny that means specify packets to reject the packets, permit specify packets to forward the packets and remark access list entry comments. So here we use first the remark to create access to Bob. So let us first use this configuration mode access list 1 remark give access to Bob. So you are giving a comment uh, it is like a optional comment that we want to give access to Bob so that we have to create the access list here. So how to create the access list? So again router in configuration mode access list 1 we use permit command to give access to Bob and you see here the Bob IP address is 172.16.23.3 and given the wildcard mask as 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 in order to match all the bits in the packet. So now you can also use the permit command to give permit the access. So here access list 1 permit 172.16.23.3. So if you want to give remark and do do not want to give access to max, so you again add remark do not give access to max and log any attempts but here you are giving again a remarks for blocking max not to attempt to get permission to the router and also you asked the router to also log having the logs of the how many times is having access here. So you see access list deny IP address of the max with the wildcard mask and giving a command as log so that it will log the number of attempts max is trying to attempt to get the access here. So if you see a brief example here, so this is the inbound then the interface fa0 slash 0 and interface 0 slash 1 is connected to internal network for this router. So we have given this access list we see clearly the remark is added as give access to Bob and given permission or permitting the IP address of Bob and the wildcard mask. So in the second attempt we wanted to do not give access to max we, so that and also log any attempts. So we have denied the IP address of max as well as given wildcard mask with the keyword as log so that it will log the details. So by this you see that again giving access to the access group entered in the interface configuration mode. So here interface configuration mode is entered and IP access group 1 it will give about inbound and outbound packets so that giving information about the inbound packets coming into the interface or going out of the interface here. So IP access group we give as inbound packets from, that is coming from Bob or coming from Max. So that you see it is clear that giving access to as access group entries also is very clear. So now we will check that if everything is up and running. So for that show IP interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0. So about this interface it is clearly given it is up and line protocol also is up internet address is given and also you can see that access list is not set for outgoing but inbound access list is 1. So this is about the brief description about the creating numbered standard access list and how to check about the interface details also is given briefly here.